Hello Wasabi fans, Marcus Mead here from Oregon Coast Wasabi. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to harvest the leaves and stems from your garden wasabi plants. Today is December 2nd, and up here on the top left of the screen, you can see the harvest from today. And after this episode, you'll be able to harvest fresh greens well into the wintertime from these amazing plants. The two most important things to remember about harvesting the leaves and stems is one, do it often. Every two to four weeks is perfectly acceptable. And the second item is to trim only the stems growing off from the side of the center meristem. And you can find them by finding the leaves that are flat. And I'll show you here exactly what I mean. I'll zoom into one of these central plants here. You can see this central meristem simply trimmed all the, all the stems that are growing around the side and left the very center still yet unfurled leaf and then uh, and then the most uh, or the youngest uh, stem and leaf here which is seen by one being close to the center and then two having this reddish color uh, and then three that it's somewhat that it's still curled a bit uh, and has yet to, to uh, completely flatten out. You can see all of these plants have the stems on the side of the of the rhizome or in on the side of the uh, of that central meristem trimmed away which gave us our amazing harvest here in December. There's plenty of foliage for these plants to photosynthesize even in the low sunlight uh, after this harvest and it won't affect the plants whatsoever. Remember wasabi is in the is a brassica and so just like your Brussels sprouts or kale that can be trimmed uh, and while well, the plant will still grow year-round, that's exactly how wasabi can be. So, so we'll take our harvest here, go into the kitchen, and in the bottom of the accompanying article to this video, I'll have a couple of uh, wasabi leaf and stem recipes and a few photos of how to enjoy your December harvest. Thanks again for watching. 